What corporate social responsibility lessons can you learn from Monsters Incorporated? Hi guys, Derek here for Leadership Lessons. If you like this video, be sure to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications for new videos. In this video, we are going to examine corporate social responsibility examples from Monsters Incorporated. Corporate social responsibility takes on many different facets and tactics in its delivering of benefits to its stakeholders. The major areas where businesses will compete in corporate social responsibility are through environmental responsibility, philanthropic responsibility, ethical business practices, and economic responsibility. Environmental responsibility includes limiting pollution, reducing greenhouse gases, reducing an organization's carbon footprint, and reducing water usage. In Monsters, Inc., the organization finds a new way to source the energy that the monster world runs on. The monster world used to run on the screams of children as a source of energy, and through a series of events that unfolds throughout the movie, Mike and Sully find that laughter of children is a more energy-efficient form and this change in energy was sustainable and benefited several stakeholders. Philanthropic initiatives allow an organization to identify a cause that is important to the organization and donate its time, its resources, or money to that cause. Philanthropic initiatives should resonate with the company's culture. The initiative should reflect what the company believes in. Mike and Sully spend the movie helping Boo reconnect with her home and her family, and through this journey they find a new way to benefit the stakeholders. Ethical business practices are an important way in which businesses interact with their stakeholders. And there are several ways in which an organization can ensure ethical business practices. These practices can include diversity and inclusion, pay structure, sourcing of materials, working conditions, and customer service. Unfortunately for Monsters, Inc., they were engaging in unethical business practices. A prime example of this was Randall kidnapping children such as Boo and hooking them up to a screen machine to generate a more efficient energy generating process. While this process was more efficient, it was both unethical and illegal. Organizations need to engage in functions that generate profit and fulfill societal need. This is economic responsibility. Monsters, Inc. was fulfilling a societal need. However, there was a scarce shortage for much of the movie. Organizations that participate in corporate social responsibility have the ability to both decrease costs and improve efficiencies through their investment in CRS. Now, Monsters, Inc. was not generating a profit nor engaging in a process that generated enough supply for the societal need. Governmental factors can also influence corporate social responsibility, either in a positive or a negative way. Often, governments will place restrictions on business to regulate the industry to affect that change. In the movie, the CDA dictates how monsters and organizations can interact with the children. These restrictions caused a misunderstanding that created one way for the monster world to generate power, and it was not the most efficient way. Organizations have the ability to control how they interact with stakeholders. And organizations that participate very well in corporate social responsibility will solve big societal problems, provide benefit to all stakeholders, and do so with less outside regulations. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video or found it informational, be sure to click the like button. We would also love to hear your favorite example of corporate social responsibility from the movie. Um, and make sure to click the subscribe button to get all the latest videos for leadership lessons.